Sophie. Hello. Do, do you like it? Yeah. Did it turn out good? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. Today I've got a mini sewing machine applique tutorial for beginners where I'll be showing you how to sew this really adorable witch hat applique top using only your mini sewing machine. So let's go ahead and get started. I found this really cute hat image on Google Images. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut it out. Uh, I'm not getting really finicky with all the nooks and crannies just trying to keep my lines as simple as possible and I'm just going to go all the way around using a sharp pair of scissors there we are going around the top and before you know it it's almost about to get done so we have cut out that little hat shape that we found online there it is. Now I'm going to take some fusible web, also called Wonder Under, and on the paper side of it, I'm going to flip over the hat and roughly trace around it. I'm not being very precise here because I don't want to do any more fussy cutting at this stage. This is a very rough shape, and I'm cutting it out to minimize wasting my fabric. I will be using some black felt for this, and I don't want to waste it, so I'm just cutting away the excess Wonder Under. There it is all cut out. Now I've taken some nice black felt. Remember to soak and shrink and dry your felt. Once the wonder under has been hot pressed on the back of the felt, we are now going to take our hat pattern and now we're going to stick it using some clear sellotape. So overlap the sellotape a little bit on the pattern and on the wonder under so that everything sticks down precisely. This will allow us to fussy cut the hat easier without having to do a detailed trace of the hat. There it is all stuck down and now taking a pair of sharp sharp scissors I'm going to fussy cut the hat out. This time again though I'm trying to avoid going into all the little nooks and crannies because I know our mini sewing machine is not very good at coping with very tight curves and very tight corners because it's got a fixed stitch length. All cut out, now we'll take a sharp tool to get rid of that backing paper pattern as well as the wonder under backing. Always peel from the middle out towards the edges so that your felt doesn't fray. There we go, nearly done. The felt is ready. Now take your t-shirt and iron it out. And once you iron it out nice and flat, flip it inside out. And on the inside front of your t-shirt, take some lightweight fusible interfacing slightly larger than the shape of the hat and then heat press it onto the inside of the t-shirt. This will give your fabric some structure so that you can sew it down. Once that's done, take your t-shirt and fold it lengthways down the middle. And where you fold it over, use something blunt to press down on that crease so that you know where that midline is, okay? This will help as a guide to help you place your applique pattern exactly where you want it in the middle of the t-shirt. Guys, if this video is making sense, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's it, let's move on! So here we are, the t-shirt's nicely ironed out, but I want it to have some more detail. So I take a piece of purple felt and I'm going to look at the pattern and just eyeball a curved shape for the band of the hat. So I take my scissors and cut out a rough curve and then I use some fabric glue, dot it on the back of the purple felt and then stick it on, okay? And there it is, that's the trim on the hat. Now our mini sewing machine is set up and I want to start sewing on the bottom hem of the hat. So I open the t-shirt up like that and there's the bottom hem. I'm going to open up the t-shirt and place it underneath the presser foot, sliding that bit of the hat underneath the needle. And now lowering the needle, I'm going to start sewing the project nice and slowly all along the inside edge of the black felt. Make sure you go really slowly and carefully and stop if you're unsure to swivel the project wherever you need the needle to go. So at tight corners like these, just stop sewing, keep the needle 
lowered inside your project, lift the presser foot and swivel the project around to exactly where you want it. Now I've reached the beginning of my sewing once more, but I want to give it another line of stitching. So what do I do? I'm just going to continue sewing uh, all along the first stitch line, okay? So this time I'm just retracing my steps all the way around the hat. But this time the process is a lot more smoother, a lot more faster because I can already see that first line of stitches that I've laid down. So quickly going all the way around the hat and once we reach the end, which is where we had started, I'm going to stop sewing and I'm going to leave quite a length of string hanging out before I snip off the threads. And this will help me knot off the threads uh, and secure the project once I'm done with the applique. It's the purple band's turn now and we're going to keep this really simple, just going along one side and then swiveling around and going back along the opposite side one nice straight stitch I'm not going to double this over because you can't really see the difference especially because it's a purple top thread and purple felt there we are and right at the very end again we're leaving nice long strings to allow us to knot the whole project through now I'm going to take a needle and pass the top threads over to the back of the fabric. So there are two sets of threads on either side of the fabric. We need to pass on the top two sets over to the back. And once at the back, we're going to combine the two sets together and do a tight double knot and then trim off the extra thread. And this will make sure that our project is nice and secure. No matter how many washes we put the t-shirt through, it's going to be all nice and secure. And there you have it. It's done, it's finished. One adorable and super easy applique t-shirt using only your mini sewing machine. And you know what guys, you can embellish it further any way you want. You could use HDV to write words, um, you could use buttons or ribbons or even pom-poms maybe at the end of the hat. But as it is, I love it. I love the way it looks. And if you see really closely up close, you will see some mistakes where I forgot to press down on the presser foot with a little pair of scissors. So I think overall, this was a really huge success. Uh, I wasn't really expecting the mini sewing machine to cope with all the nooks and crannies and crevices of this shape simplified though as it is. Um, I've been making felt appliques and appliques in general on t-shirts for several years now using my regular sewing machine and those sewing machines have the option of reducing the length of stitch so you can turn corners really easily. With the mini sewing machine one thing that you do have to compromise on is the shape that you're sewing down. It has to be simple because the stitch length is fixed so you cannot really bend around really complicated curves. But I think this worked out beautifully. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.